Hi there, Mafia and I'm back with some more Minecraft. So today I'll be showing off a mod called Computercraft, and so, as you probably guessed, if, well from the name, it adds computers like this. So, uh, to make computer, to craft computers, you need some stone, some redstone, and some glass. So you just need to put a shape like this, a bit like pants. Uh, then add some redstone in the center, and voila. They will have a computer. You can also make some disk drives. So to do so, all you have to do is exactly the same shape as a uh, computer, or at least for the beginning and then instead of putting some uh, glass pane, you put some redstone. And there you have your disk drive. Finally, you can also, also, also make some disks. So you need some paper and some redstone. There we go. You're only going to make one. And yeah, so what's really cool about this mod is that uh, it has a computer and it has its own operating system, so Craft OS. Um, so you can do really everything with that. Um, just if you want to know what's available, type programs. Uh, so Adventure, uh, Elias APIs, CD, Clear, ex and so on. Um, so yeah, um, you can also program your own um, your own programs. So to do so, you just type edit, and the name of the program, if it, it is called startup, uh, the program will actually execute uh, when you turn the computer on. So that's pretty cool, and I'll show you one application just after that. Uh, so there are many things you can do. I don't know what I call the program. Let's just call it prog. There we go, and you get uh, this new interface uh, in which you basically can type really everything. And it's uh, just like regular programming. I've done lots of programming in the past. Um, so I already have a little bit of experience about that. So you have to declare variables if you need to everything. Um, so what should I do? Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, to display a message, there are two functions. One, it's write. Um, so we don't know it. But hello. And print. So I believe write it. Um, well, it displays a message and it will display everything on the line. And print it will uh, go to the next time you print a message. Uh, it will be on the line below, if you see what I mean. Um, let's, let's hello, hello too. Yes, hello. Never mind that. Uh, you can also come back and add some letters like this. Pretty cool. Um, what else can I do? Yeah, there's pretty much everything in programming you can actually put. Uh, so then let's uh, call a variable. It will be name. And uh, read. read is a function, it basically asks the player to uh, input anything. So uh, you'll see what it does later on. And then let's add a condition. So that's a very basic programming, what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's, for example, if uh, name equal imf, that's my name, then I don't know what should I do. Yeah, print something. Welcome... Oops, <laughs> I can't write today. Really slow at typing too, that's annoying. Uh, then... Else... Go away. And end. Have a condition and um, yeah. So then you can save a program and exit. And next time I uh, run prog. Oh, what? Uh, let's see. No mistake. Sorry about that. Where's that? Else oh, I know. <laughs> Silly me. This should do it. Now I save again. Exiting again. Prog. Hello, hello. So, first time it's hello, it's with the right function. Hello is with. A second hello is with print function. Um, imf. 
and it says welcome and let's try uh, executing a program again putting anything but uh, my name go away that's pretty cool um, can also set some outputs like this so I'll quickly show you um, edit then I don't know let's add a little something redstone dot set output uh, it's on the left I believe uh, oop. there we go and to true so this basically turns on the redstone uh, on the left of the computer so let's give this a try save exit prog and mf and what you can see uh, the redstone actually ignites so uh, you then if you want uh, the program to turn it off you can put um, exactly the same function and you replace true with um, false so now here a few applications or here I have a little home here I don't think I added any anything on nope uh, it does have a disk though inside. I'll show you disks um, later on. I don't know much what you can do with disks so far. I, I know it can carry information. That's already pretty good. I'll also show off how you can actually open those. So yeah, this is you're attempting to access the secret zone. Enter the password. So yeah, I used twice um, write. I actually should have used print then uh, write. Uh, so I believe the password is enough correct so it will stay open for three seconds and then close again and then the computer will shut down that means that basically the code on the computer cannot be edited so yeah uh, let's try I don't know typing a wrong password incorrect and then it will turn off on its own so yeah that's a very basic program now for disks I'll remove this one never know why I put on this this so floppy disk uh, to open first let's clear the page there we go to open the disk you all have to do is cd disk and there you go um, you can do anything inside the disk directory so let's see what can I do um, let's just create a program edit data no that's data actually put anything you want it doesn't even have to make sense uh, it doesn't even need to be a program or anything you can save exit and then to um, actually get rid of a CD you can put CD there you go oops and uh, you're back to normal so to shut down a computer that you can either do shut down or exit. I prefer using exit <laughs> exit because it's uh, much shorter. So now let's take RCD and uh, give it a try on our other computer right there. Uh, yep. There you go. And then you can open CD disk. There you go. You got the disk open. Um, date is the name of the program. It doesn't work of course. Uh, but at least it has been detected, so that means the the data has actually been um, stored inside the CD, and then you can edit date, and there you have your text. So that's pretty good if you want to pass around some information or anything. Uh, pretty cool. So yeah, uh, that's probably all I know about um, CDD. Nope. About computer craft. If you have any questions, if you want any tutorials, well, I'm sorry I won't be able to help much, uh, but I'll be trying to improve my programming um, with that. I intend on making a custom map, uh, actually, with this mod, uh, or ask an authorization to the actually mod creator to avoid any problems, and uh, yeah, I'll let you know. If you want any tutorials for that, let me know. I already said that. 
And <laughs> and yeah, if you enjoyed, please rate, comment, subscribe, download the mod. I'll put a link uh, in the description. Yes, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time. See ya.